going on. We're going to talk about the dangerous driver. This car to the left is going to overtake me, throwing snow and ice on me. What I need you to do as a beginning driver is just stay smooth, stay patient. Uh, we've got about four inches of snow. The temperature is almost 29 degrees. So they're going to be passing me and throwing a lot of snow and ice in my uh, view. So you want to have your windshield wipers going so you don't get caught in this. And I just want to take my time. So I'm still going to stay smooth. I'm going to be patient. And you don't want to overpower the car. If you overpower the car, you're going to end up going into the ditch, hitting a wall, and you will get a ticket because you're driving at a speed that is not safe and reasonable for the conditions on the road. Many countries or provinces or areas around the world have speed limits based upon the conditions. And if you go over speed, you're going to end up rearing someone or tailgating someone. So I need you to learn from this. You can feel the car kind of sliding a little bit. And I'm just taking my time. And I want to be smooth and patient. The lane to the right is for slower moving traffic. The lane in the middle is where we are, smoother moving traffic. The lane to the left is for passing. What type of vehicles are around you? We have a four-wheel drive vehicle. This is front-wheel drive. That other car up there, these cars are front-wheel drive. So I'm trying to be as smooth as possible, not trying to oversteer. They're tailgating. I'm keeping space. I don't want to tailgate. So I'm going to make a lane change to the left. Mirror, turn signal, blind spot. You can hear and see the car kind of slushing around. I don't want to hug the left because I'll end up crashing and I don't really want to be following anyone too closely. I want to take my time and look ahead and just be patient and I'm looking in the grooves. When you're driving like this, you want to be smooth and patient. Uh, I see the uh, sign flashing. This tells us the light will be changing soon and I'm taking my time. I do have my defroster to keep the windows from fogging up. If you're too warm, you're going to end up falling asleep. So I'm looking ahead, being mindful. Uh, I don't want to pull out in front of a car. I don't want a car to pull out in front of me. So I'm trying to be predictable. Another tip as a beginning driver, you want to be predictable. You don't want to over speed or under speed. You want to be safe. And I'm scanning this intersection and I'm just looking. And we're at about 35 miles an hour now. So I'm just taking my time. They're tailgating. That's that same truck that cut me off. So now they're tailgating. So either they're gonna tailgate or cut over. So you're learning some real life strategies right now to help you and what is the best practice. I'm just gonna back off and allow them to tailgate and be aggressive because the aggressive drivers end up being dead drivers or losing control of the vehicle. And we don't wanna be that. You see how they're kinda of slushing and throwing all that stuff out there? You don't want that. You wanna be as safe as possible. They're gonna cut me off now, so I'm gonna go ahead and get over one lane to the right. See how people are? They just cut you off. And I'm just gonna maintain speed and take my time. So you just don't know what drivers will do. And I wanna be smooth and safe in the groove in the road, taking my time and aiming high and looking ahead. These types of drives will give you some consistency. They are stressful. They do add a little bit of anxiety, but you can see that we're smooth, trying to be smooth, not trying to jerk the wheel, looking ahead, and we're going over elevated areas, so these areas speed first, and I'm gonna squeeze my brakes gently. I don't wanna run the light because that's dangerous. If this brought you value, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.